Earth's outer core is a spinning molten mass that generates the electromagnetic shield that protects all life on Earth. When the outer core cools and becomes solid, Earth will die like Mars did. So it is quite significant that researchers recently found that the core is losing its heat faster than previously thought. Here's what they found. Deutsche Welle reports that scientists have found that the Earth might be losing its precious heat much faster than previously estimated. In a study published in the journal Science Direct, researchers say they found evidence that the structure of minerals in the Earth's core is better at radiating the core's heat outward than previously thought. In order to simulate conditions in the Earth's core, the scientists had to create a mineral called bridgmanite, which only exists in the inner parts of the planet even though it is the most abundant mineral inside Earth. To artificially create a synthetic version of the mineral, the scientists used a diamond anvil cell. A mineral sample is placed in a small chamber where it is compressed by diamond walls from all sides. At the same time, the sample is heated by a laser that shines through the diamond. By studying the synthetic bridgmanite, scientists found that the mineral's thermal conductivity was 1.5 times higher than previously estimated, suggesting that radiative thermal conductivity plays a bigger role in the process of heat extraction from Earth. Helen Williams, a geochemist at the University of Cambridge, told Deutsche Welle that even if the Earth is cooling faster, it won't have an impact on the current climate crisis. She said, This is planetary cooling taking place on billion-year timescales, whereas the current human-made global heating is taking place on decade timescales. The Earth's inner core is growing unevenly. Here's why that process will eventually destroy us all. Earth's inner core grows 1 mm in radius per year, but its east side, beneath Indonesia, is growing faster than its west, beneath Brazil, because it is cooling at a faster rate, causing more iron crystals to form, according to a study in Nature Geoscience. The conversation explains that when Earth was formed, a lot of heat was captured within the planet, and as this has slowly escaped, the inner core's temperature has dropped below the melting point of iron, causing the formation of the crystals. Because of lower temperatures around the east side, iron crystals form more quickly. However, Earth's spherical shape is maintained by constant spinning and the force of gravity, which redistribute the extra mass evenly according to popular mechanics. To establish the disparity, scientists combined the fact that seismic waves travel much faster from north to south through the core than from side to side, with estimates of how iron alloys behave at high pressure according to the conversation. Popular mechanics attributes the disparity to Indonesia being covered by a mix of islands and expansive sea floor, which is a key place for heat to be shed. The study's lead author said cold tectonic plates diving below Earth's surface may be a cause. Heat loss in Earth's inner core is important because it drives the flow of liquid iron in the outer core, which in turn creates Earth's magnetic field. According to the conversation, in billions of years, cooling will lead to the whole core to become solid, which will leave Earth without its protective magnetic field and leave us exposed to solar and cosmic radiation. One question the study brings up is if lopsided cooling in the core could already be affecting the strength of Earth's magnetic field. We already know from the ESA that Earth's magnetic field has lost 9% of its strength over the last two centuries. That question is just one brought out by a spate of recent studies. For instance, traditionally, students have been taught that the Earth has four distinct layers, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. But earlier this year, researchers from the Australian National University provided evidence of an additional layer inside the inner core. According to the study, which was published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, the inner core is made primarily of iron and nickel. The innermost core is composed mainly of iron and is around two-thirds the size of the moon. The authors of that study said this suggests that some sort of cataclysmic and previously unknown event occurred early in the Earth's history, perhaps as early as 4.5 billion years ago. Along similar lines, many scientists believe that the moon formed when a Mars-sized planet called Thea struck Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. And in March, a team of scientists theorized that Thea's remains are what formed two mysterious continent-sized blobs of rock buried deep in Earth's mantle. For decades, seismologists have puzzled over these two blobs, which sit below West Africa and the Pacific Ocean and straddle Earth's core like a pair of headphones. Up to 1,000 kilometers tall and several times that wide, they are the largest thing in Earth's mantle, says Qian Yuan, a PhD student in geodynamics at Arizona State University who presented the hypothesis at the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference in March. 
As with the uneven growth theory, scientists notice that seismic waves from earthquakes abruptly slow down when they pass through the layers, which suggests they are denser and chemically different from the surrounding mantle rock. These blobs might simply have crystallized out of the depths of Earth's primordial magma ocean. But based on new isotopic evidence and modeling, Grimm believes the blobs are the guts of the theoretical alien impactor planet. The core is obviously a rich field for new discoveries. But a 2018 study from MIT made that very literally the case, suggesting the interior of Earth is filled with a quadrillion tons of diamonds. Scientists estimated the diamonds are more than 100 miles below the surface, beneath the continental tectonic plates. The study estimated 1-2% to of the cratonic roots may be filled with diamonds, and a statement from MIT News said scientists came to this conclusion while they were trying to construct an image of what the Earth's interior might look like. Researchers created virtual rock models to test what material would allow sound waves to travel that quickly through the cratonic roots. The result was diamonds. Scientists came up with an estimate of around a quadrillion tons of diamonds by taking into account the total volume of cratonic roots scattered inside Earth. Finally, 2019 research found that roughly every 10 years, a phenomenon dubbed geomagnetic jerks causes Earth's magnetic field to change, and the core might be responsible. As previously mentioned, Earth's magnetic field is generated from the core and serves as a protection against solar and cosmic radiation. Whenever there is movement in the core, Earth's magnetic field shifts. When these movements occur suddenly, they are called geomagnetic jerks. According to a 2019 study published in the journal Nature Geoscience, Earth's sudden magnetic shifts may be caused by floating blobs of molten matter originating from the depths of the Earth's core. The team of researchers developed a computer simulation that mimics movements on the Earth's outer core over several decades, effectively recreating the conditions that take place right before a geomagnetic jerk will happen. Results show that the sudden jerks happen when the Earth's inner core emitted hydromagnetic waves. As these waves move outwards and reach the surface of the Earth's core, they become amplified and create movements that can be compared to geomagnetic jerks. Researchers have found a never-before-seen anomalous structure near our Earth's core. Here is how they did it. Geophysicists from the University of Maryland analyzed seismic waves around the world and found large, unusual structures near the Earth's core. The study was published on June 12th in the journal Science. The team of researchers analyzed 7,000 seismograms from earthquakes of 6.5 magnitude or greater that occurred from 1990 to 2008 using Sequencer, a machine learning algorithm. They specifically searched for echoes of seismic waves known as shear waves or S waves beneath the Pacific Ocean basin. The results uncovered an anomalous structure under the volcanic Marquesas Islands in the South Pacific. The results also showed that a previously known structure beneath the Hawaiian Islands is much larger than had been thought. But what is this other large structure that they found? Well, the thing is, they don't know for sure, but they believe it is likely an extremely hot and dense rock. Co-author of the study, Veteran Lykek, said in a press release, This is really exciting because it shows the sequencer algorithm can help us to contextualize seismogram data across the globe in a way we couldn't before. Mars has just become the first other planet to have its internal structure accurately measured by human seismology sensors. This is the first time humans have managed to directly map the internal layering of a planet other than Earth. The data surprised NASA scientists and helped them to understand a lot more about how Mars formed and cooled. The BBC reports that NASA scientists have studied data from the seismology sensors on its InSight probe and now know what the internal structure of Mars looks like. The probe has been sensing small quakes on the planet since early 2019. Its readings reveal that Mars's crust is between 24 and 72 kilometers thick, which is thinner than expected. But the key finding is the size of the planet's liquid and metallic core. Its radius of 1,830 kilometers is wider than expected. This means that the mantle between the core and the crust is thinner than previously thought. And that means it's highly unlikely this mantle can achieve the pressures where the mineral bridgmanite becomes stable. On Earth, the stiff mineral blankets the core, slowing convection and the loss of heat. On early Mars, its absence would have led to rapid cooling. This initially would have permitted strong convection in the metal core, which drove a global magnetic field. But because of rapid cooling, this is now switched off, and today, Mars has no global magnetic field. If Mars did have a global magnetic field, it would have provided some shielding to protect its surface from the damaging radiation that constantly rains down from space, making the planet extremely inhospitable. Earth's rare magnetic field is one of the many amazing reasons why life is possible on Earth. 
A cosmic collision between Jupiter and a protoplanet billions of years ago could explain the unexpected readings from NASA's Juno space probe. According to a press release by Rice University, data from NASA's Juno space probe reported gravitational readings that suggest Jupiter's core is less dense and more extended than expected. Rice astronomer Andrea Isela said the readings are puzzling and that something happened that may have stirred up the core. After running thousands of computer simulations, the research team deduced that a fast-growing young Jupiter from some 4.5 billion years ago could have perturbed nearby embryo planets, resulting in a massive impact. Isela said that because of Jupiter's strong gravitational focusing, head-on collisions were more common during the simulations. The dense high-energy impactor would have been like a bullet, cutting the atmosphere and hitting the core of Jupiter directly. Isela stated that before an impact, the core is extremely dense as it is surrounded by an atmosphere. A head-on collision would spread things out and dilute the core. But why is this research important? Isela states that by understanding how Jupiter and other planets evolve, we might be able to answer the biggest question of all, whether life-supporting conditions exist anywhere else in the universe. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.